Hello, 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 Christine Austin Hill here coming to you guys with another day of clips. I definitely seen the comments on the last uh, video that I had posted and you guys were asking for more clips of my days out in the field. So you guys can, uh, I guess, be engaged and experience certain days, uh, certain activities that happen out in the field. So I'm out here. It is pouring down raining yet again. Um, and I love it. Yes, I said I love it that it is raining out here. Now let me pause. For those guys that may be new to my channel, welcome. Uh, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the little bell so that you're notified anytime that I upload any videos. Also share and like and make sure you comment. Any comments that you have, uh, suggestions, feel free to leave them down below. Um, all of them are welcome. Um, if you decide to leave any crazy ignorant posts, I will check you in a nice way. However, all comments are welcome. Um, my channel is definitely one for positivity and uplifting and building one another up. So um, again, all comments are welcome. And you can even, you know, anything you think that you need to correct me on, feel free to leave that down there as well in love. Because that is what we do. We build up. We do not tear down. And I am leaving that message because somebody had tried to leave a message the other day on one of my videos and the person clearly didn't listen to the full video. So I had to love on them anyway and it's okay because I do understand people are quick to um, halfway listen, halfway read and respond because so many individuals are still in that negative mindset as to why they may not be having um, a lot of success right now. This is a mindset business. This is definitely all about you and what you are giving and putting out here in the world. So you wanna make sure you are paying attention to your own energy and your thoughts, all right? So now that we got that out the way, if you would like to be added to my email list to know whenever I have any new courses added or any anything that is um, educational that I decide to send out via email, you can send a text message to the numbers 22828. Again, text 22828 and the word in the comment, you're going to put life now. One word, no space. What's going to happen is that, um, you'll receive a text message right back asking you for you to enter in your email address and you will be added to my little group. Well, it's not that little, but you'll be added to the group. All right? So um, I'm excited for today. I am five hours away from home yet again. I have about 22 leads left for this area. I started out with 36 leads. Um, if you missed the last video of my uh, daily clips, feel free to go back and check that out. Uh, the end of the clip, I did an update. I presented to 19 people. I sold 12. I did a little over 500. I think it was $505 in premium. And um, all of them, except for one, I believe, is for this month. So we are out here having a good time. Why do I like working in the rain? Because people don't like to be out in the rain. They like to be at home, snuggled up and cozy, unless they have to be out. They're at home. And so for us insurance agents, it's a perfect time to go to work because what do we want? We want to get the people at home so that we can go over this information. I brought extra clothes. Um, I did not bring, well, I have an umbrella, but I will not take the umbrella to the door because I want to get in. I don't want to look comfortable at the door. So uh, I am prepared to be uncomfortable. I am prepared to get a little wet, but I am also prepared to help some people while I'm out in the country. I, uh, My husband prayed for me this morning for my traveling mercy, traveling mercies prayed for the people, my leads. I call them people because that's what they are. They're not just leads, but we call them families. So we prayed for the families that I will be able to touch and help on today. And um, it is what it is. I'm out here to do my job and that's what I'm going to do. And whoever I can help, I can help. Whoever I can't, I will try back yet again. This is my third time in the area. And uh, I just want to make sure that I am touching every single one of these um, families. I want to make sure that I see everybody. So today is a Saturday. 
So I worked out here, I think it was a Wednesday and a Thursday. I've been out here a Monday and a Tuesday. And now it is Saturday and Sunday. So I'm switching up the days. So that's it for the um, intro, if you will. And I'll be back, guys. I will be back with some updates of uh, the individuals that I meet. Peace. All right, all right. I was able to help that little lady that I have been trying to reach for the past, um, the last two visits. I tried her in the morning, also in the afternoon. This time it was morning again, but it is a Saturday. And I lucked up, I caught her home. She literally was on her way out to a funeral and she was waiting on her son. I was glad I was able to get in. I told her it'd be really, really quick. I was able to help her and actually her son has a policy with Lincoln Heritage. And so he was like, hey, do you know Bruce? I'm like, yes, of course I know him. Told him his last name, the whole nine. He's like, I've been, I had the policy for three, four years. And uh, so I was glad that he was there because he was like, mom, just sign the papers and give her the check. We got to go. And that's the best policy you can have. So he kind of helped me out with that deal. So thank you, Bruce. And uh, thank you, son, because that was the easiest daggone policy app that I've done in a very long time. So <laughs> I was grateful for that. So check. Good to get. Well, that one's not good to go. It's for the end of the month. But it's good to go. So it's going to count for this month. And uh, we're doing our job out here. It is still pouring down raining. And I'm on to the next door. So I will be back. Peace. I think that's the house I'm looking for. Can you guys see it? Way up there. <laughs> so we're talking about country, guys. Country. These back roads. Thank goodness I'm up here today. In the daylight. I tried to get to this house the last time and it was way too dark and I couldn't find it. But I found it today. All right, all right. I um, hit two more doors and this route that I'm, I'm on right now, of course you guys can't tell because I'm doing clips, but uh, literally it's like 30 to 45 minutes in between each door. I'm working on the outskirts of this county again being that it's daytime um this is the side of the county that i worked a couple days back but it was at nighttime and i could not see anything so i decided to go ahead and hit them first this this trip so uh the last door that i just knocked on um big old trump sign all over the place and as soon as she saw me she was like oh you're the lady that was at the door the other day because i did leave a delivery notice she was like, I'm sorry, I should have called you. She was like, but we're not interested. Um, I thought it was going to be something that came in the mail. And of course, I said, okay, well, you are interested in something as to why you filled out the form. And she said, well, yeah, you know, I have life insurance already. I really just wanted something in the mail. And I could have just signed up that way or not. So, of course, I did my, well, listen, the reason why we come out is so that you can be qualified for day one benefit. A lot of the things you do in the mail, it's a two-year pay-in period and we customize the benefit based on what you need so i did ask her if she would prefer someone from the corporate office to call her and go over the information over the phone and she was like no you know i'm good i'm not even interested and i said it that way because maybe she didn't want it from me um and she didn't give me a phone number on the lead and i was trying to get the phone number to be able to call her but she didn't give up that number and her number's not listed because i already try to uh, look up her number ahead of time so that's when we can mark on off i told her i'm glad that you were home please do not fill anything else out that has the funeral advantage program on there because we do um, help you guys over the phone or in person in order to be able to get the best price so you don't want to communicate back and forth with an underwriter this dude is all in my lane wake up um then you know this there's nothing we can do for you. And she was like, I really appreciate it. She was pretty nice. But um, you could always tell that little look when they come to the door. And that's fine. She's leaving her family at risk, not mine. So on to the next. I have about 15 more minutes before I get to my door. And I am in the no signal zone. Let me see if I can show you guys. Ugh. No service. Always. And I, I like to keep my little um, CDs, my old school CDs. Yes, I have CDs still. So I can jam to my, my jams if I want to when I'm 
in areas with no signal. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm just thinking about my next person. I already have their name. I've said it a couple times in my mind and out loud so that when I get to this door, I can just say it as if I know who I'm coming to see and like we have been friends forever. And yeah, so I'm having fun guys. And it's still raining. So I will check back in after my next tour. <laughs> All right, guys, I am cracking up. Obviously, it's pouring down. And um, yes, I almost got balled up. I was like, if I would have slid under this daggone truck like I almost did because it is all mud it is pouring down raining and um yeah well you know I'm running from the truck to the door because I do not have my umbrella I almost got balled up on my way back to the truck all I could do is laugh thank god I did not fall because I would have had to change my clothes in the truck um because I'm not done door knocking I still have several leads left but that was too funny. I wish I would have had that recorded. You guys would have been cracking up because it was funny. I was like, the whole, yeah, it could have been a YouTube go viral video. But it's not. Um, but yeah, it's getting ready to get dark on me, y'all. I have two more leads that are in uh, the outskirt part of this county. So, prayerfully, I will be able to... Um, to see them the these the last two that are in the outskirts i have not been to at all so prayerfully they are home and they are ready to receive this amazing information that i am about to lay on them because uh, i'm ready to serve all right so <laughs> i'll be back and i'm gonna slow down going from uh the truck to these doors because we don't need no accidents, no broken bones, no mud, no none of that, right? None of that. Thank God we prayed this morning because that could have been bad. I'll be back. All right, guys, I wanted to just slow down and um, zoom in on this road. Several roads are like this. I don't know if you can tell, like, right over there and over there. God forbid if you are not paying attention to these roads when you are driving and God forbid you hit a little slick spot and go into the side of those little ditches, man, you are stuck. There is no way of getting out of there without calling a truck and no signals. Thank God my truck has a, a little 911 button up in here, but um, yes. So you always wanna be careful when you are out here not to speed because we're trying to get to the next door before it gets dark or any of that nonsense. Be careful when you're out here. How beautiful it is though. But yes, be careful. All right, all right. Quick update, you know, it's already black out here. I just left a lady, a young lady. Um, yeah, Looney Tunes, Looney Tunes poor thing is crazy right now she's going through a divorce um, from a husband of 15 years and he basically has taken her through the ringer for everything um, she is strapped like she had pulled out all of her bills her bank statements I was like ma'am I don't, I don't need to see all of that she was like no 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 for you coming all the way up here I just need you to see that I'm telling you the truth I'm not lying I do need the coverage but I can't do anything I'm, I'm trying to wait for assistance for the gas right now she was like my horses are star she has horses and they are starving I'm like oh my god like you need to sell your horses and she's just in her crying like oh it is so hard sometimes when you are dealing with your clients and you really care about people because of their stories of what you know people are going through every day you know it's not all sunshine and roses and some folk are going through a lot more than others um super sweet lady super sweet lady but yeah she is definitely going through it and um she did you know ask me for several of my business cards and she said because nobody up here in this area 
provides whole life insurance. And she was like, oh my God, I'm so mad that you're finally here and I can't even do anything. Um, so, you know, I do believe that she will be one that I can call back and um, provide her with service. I'm gonna check back with her next month. She's supposed to be hearing something back from the attorney in two weeks. So I'll check back with her. Um, most of the time I do not check back. I let them call me, but she was super sincere and she was proving that she had no money. Um, she was three kids and she's like, yeah, there's no Christmas this year. There's nothing for anything. And um, I told her, don't be stressing out, you know, about Christmas and gifts. At least you still have your house and you guys, you know, still have food, you know. Um, there'll be another Christmas. Thank God my kids have, we've never raised our kids with the um, whole Christmas theme of buying gifts and having to get all these things. So I don't have that pressure. Um, but she definitely was stressing out. So that was a no-go. And um, I am headed to, my next door is about 10 minutes away. So I'm, I'm getting closer to the one area where all of the the rest of the leads are so i'll be able to just hit them they're all within three to four minutes away so that's good and i definitely have my flashlight so so far for the day i have one app good for this month checking account business for i believe it's 46 dollars and um i'm going to keep on going until i finish going through my route or it's nine o'clock so i'll be back how dark it is guys it's crazy how dark it is look at that the deer y'all see that all right guys so i guess this is about as good a light as i'm gonna get i'm in my room and i want to give you a um update on today's numbers. So this is the first day that I came up to this area um, for this run anyway. So I hit 13 doors. One was not interested. They didn't need it at all. They had enough money. He said they never even filled it out. There was nothing filled out on the card. Um, one said they weren't interested at the door. One late, I could not find them at all. There was no phone number on that lead, so I will mail them a letter. One, uh, the son answered and said that his dad worked until 11 p.m. I had five that were not home. Another one, lady was completely poor. I talked about that in the clips. Um, she's going through the divorce. One, um, can't get in. I needed a code. It was an apartment building and there was no phone number. Again, I will send him a, a letter. One lady just had surgery yesterday. Bandages, the whole nine. She obviously was not up to it and one died last week. So um, I hit 13 doors uh, and I sold, excuse me, I hit 14 doors, one I sold. I forgot to write that one down. I sold one earlier today. So 14 doors today. Um, I have seven leads left plus the five that were not home. So still got a good bit of people to see on tomorrow and I will do the clips um, tomorrow as well. So I'm gonna wrap this up. I'm gonna go get me something to eat and I'm going to um, send out some emails for some agents that have requested some information from me from my university as well as uh, a new agent. So got lots to do still, um, but I need to do me right now. I need to go eat. So you guys have a wonderful day, evening, afternoon, whatever time you're watching this video uh, and I'll be back tomorrow. Have a good night. All right, guys, so I guess this is about as good a light as I'm going to get. I'm in my room, and I want to give you a, um update on today's numbers. So this is the first day that I came up to this area um, for this run anyway. So I hit 13 doors. One was not interested. They didn't need it at all. They had enough money. He said they never even filled it out. There was nothing filled out on the card. Um, one said they weren't interested at the door. One late, I could not find them at all. There was no phone number on that lead, so I will mail them a letter. 
One, uh, the son answered and said that his dad worked until 11 p.m. I had five that were not home. Another one, lady was completely poor. I talked about that in the clips. Um, she's going through the divorce. One, um, can't get in. I needed a code. It was an apartment building and there was no phone number. Again, I will send him a, a letter. One lady just had surgery yesterday. Bandages, the whole nine. She obviously was not up to it. And one died last week. So um, I hit 13 doors uh, and I sold, excuse me, I hit 14 doors. One I sold. I forgot to write that one down. I sold one earlier today. So 14 doors today. Um, I have seven leads left plus the five that were not home. So still got a good bit of people to see on tomorrow. And I will do the clips um, tomorrow as well. So I'm going to wrap this up. I'm going to go get me something to eat. And I'm going to um, send out some emails for some agents that have requested some information for me from my university as well as uh, a new agent. So got lots to do still. Um, but I need to do me right now. I need to go eat. So you guys have a wonderful day, evening, afternoon, whatever time you're watching this video. Uh, and I'll be back tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye.